So we have the new stainless steel rocket retort. This barrel is really good heavy gauge steel. The latching mechanisms on the lids are heavy duty. These won't go away like the regular steel. These lids are really thick. What we were having failure points with before, it was the thermal up pipe. We've changed it to 307L stainless steel. Um, the up pipe is perforated all the way up now so that's a that's a real big change with what we're doing and uh it's you can see it's a nice 16 gauge metal so um the manufacturer of this tells me I'll, i can get about a thousand pounds given we get internal retort temperatures varying anywhere from 800 degrees to 2000 degrees um these little seals burn off during the first burn so that's not even important because this flange system locks so well into this and as you can see this just fits in like that for those of you that don't know what a rocket retort is what you do is you put your biomass in this area right here the biomass could be any dry yard clippings brush whatever you have uh, sawdust like big chunks of wood you put it in this area you go ahead and you know clasp this on the top and what you do is you just burn a fire underneath this thing so if you if you want to do it the simple way all you do is put three cinder blocks underneath where no air can get in except for where you have your fuel you light a fire and this whole system acts like an insulated stack You'll see fire coming out the top and all that heat will start to cook everything that's inside the canister. What I like to do is I'll take a 55 gallon barrel. I'll put that over this and have the barrel just slightly elevated. I'll take a couple more cinder blocks on all the sides. That allows the heat to hit the, the 55 gallon barrel and then cascade down. So you're cooking both the outside and the inside that reduces the cook time by about two thirds. So what normally takes about an hour to cook, takes about 20 minutes. And then my kiln systems then <laughs> route the, the heat of the exhaust back up after it goes through the heat guide. And you can cook about 35 gallons by volume of biomass down to biochar in roughly, like if you have good fuel, about 10, 10 to 12 minutes. So the system is super simple. You can do it pretty much for any budget level that you want. And with this stainless steel, uh, these, these barrels will last quite a while doing that.